I'm over a thousand kilometers from home and I have about one kilometer remaining that separates me from a very special lake. A lake that holds an extraordinarily rare fish that I hope to catch and eat. This fish is actually so rare that it was once considered an endangered species. More on that in a sec. First I gotta set up camp. Just a short paddle across this really small lake. We're here. So you might be asking yourself, if this fish was considered endangered and if this fish was so rare, Xander, why are you going out and trying to catch and eat one of these fish? Well, the aurora trout, which is the fish that I'm going for today, was once considered an endangered species because it was considered its own species. But we now know that it's a color variant of the more familiar brook trout. And the aurora trout actually exists naturally in about a dozen lakes throughout Ontario, Canada and the world, all found in Tomogamy in Ontario where fishing is absolutely banned. You're not allowed to go fishing there. But what some people have done is they've taken that fish, they've re-hatched them in a hatchery, and they brought them here. They stocked this lake for people like me to come and enjoy them for a two and a half month period every three years. So other than this short little window every three years, this lake is absolutely banned for people to come fish here. It's completely illegal. So with that, let's catch ourselves and eat a uh, once endangered species. Sounds really wrong, doesn't it? One of the regulations here for fish hooks is you have to debarb all your fish hooks that you use on these fish. The barbs are just these little backwards facing hooks that prevent a fish from shaking the lure out of their mouth. We're gonna cross the lake again and see if I can get a little bit more protected from this wind. I'm blowing all over the place. First cast. Yeah, okay, got one. My hook's on the ground. Oh, I swear I had one. I'm just vertical dig jigging here. That's like kind of a. Um, a ledge. Also, I'm out of the wind, so. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that was definitely one. I had two, I had two bites. That was for sure a bite. Come on. Fish on, fish on. Whoa, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yay. We got one. We got one. Holy moly. Hello. Beautiful. Okay. okay, well, let's put them out. Whoa, it's so shimmery. Hello, thank you. Look at that beautiful color pattern on it. Like the pink on the bottom there. What a beautiful fish. The first time I heard about these trout, I was reading a map of Tomogamy and on the back, it talked about the aurora trout and how, how rare it was and how exceptional it was, but how it was also off limits to fishing because of its rarity. So never thought I'd be able to catch one, you know, let alone eat one. I had my doubters. Uh, you're not gonna catch an aurora trout. FYI. That really is a pretty fish. gonna use a little bit of salmon seasoning. Oil in the pan, and then a little bit of fishy in there.
Okay, we have an exceptionally rare fish that we are about to eat. Feels kind of naughty, to be honest. Oh, falls right off. Beautiful. That's great. Mmm. Once endangered species. Why is this so good? This is hands down better than any brook trout I've ever had. So I know you must be wondering, who gave me such a wonderful haircut? Well, I actually went and saw my mulletician this week. I think he might have taken a little bit too much off the sides. I wonder if I called this video catching and eating a once endangered species. If I get in any backlash, get in any trouble. Probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> That's a good name though. Great day, but I got a big one tomorrow, so I'm gonna head to bed. Good night, guys. amazing experience getting to come here and eat uh, an extremely rare trout, the Aurora trout. Shout out to the hatcheries and the people who stock this lake because without them, without the ministry, without uh, conservation efforts, this would be impossible. So um, what, a, what a cool thing to be able to do. I guess because it's the next day I can technically catch and eat another one today. In fact, I could have caught and eaten a fish for every day that the season's open. So about 75 fish total. But that's absolutely absurd. I'm good with one. <laughs> I'm good with one. And besides that, I kind of got to get going because I'm starting a 10-day trip today. So, yeah, no breakfast here. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.